Do it. Do it. Do it. How do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do Wait for it. It. I'm Chappers. I'm the captain. We're at Anderton's. Surprise! And uh, we're here to sell you guitars, basically. Yes. But it's really easy because they're so amazing. <laughs> Look at this Japanese Telecaster. It's, it's not a Telecaster, though, is it? Oh, you know, it looks like something you might have bought at a pawn shop. Really? <laughs> so basically, mm. Fender have kind of come up with this uh, kind of crazy concept, which I like because I'm a crazy guy. Um, which is this idea of releasing uh, a few <coughs> models, which I think their exact term is, they're guitars that never were but might have been. So this is kind of the idea is maybe this guitar, this guitar was never a, a, a bona fide production model from Fender in the 70s. Although it, it is now. It is now. Uh, but this is the kind of guitar that Fender say maybe they might have made as a prototype or maybe somebody um, who owned uh, diff, you know, like to sort of put different parts of different fenders together to make their own guitars might have made. So it's kind of like a, a weird... They've invented an excuse backstory to have made this guitar. Yeah, it's like a dreamland kind of weird uh, concept. But it's kind of cool. So we've got a, like a double cutaway stratty kind of body uh, with a, an F hole in it. So it's semi hollow. A what? F hole. An F hole. Yeah. Um, so called because it's the shape of an F. Um, see? Do they do um, in the shape of an A? An A hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's got six little ones on the back here. Um, yes. It's got a Telecaster neck and headstock, and it's basically it's a hard tail. It's got two uh, humbucking pickups on there. One is the. And the best thing is. Yeah, go on. There's no tone knob. Yeah! <laughs> they get to wear the rock crown for this. <laughs> because, I tell you what, I can't stand me tone knobs. Tell them about it, Lee. Tell, so we've got standard volume here, but yes. this, uh, and you, you won't be able to really see this, but in the middle of this control is what's called a center detente. Detente. Uh, and that kind of, that's to indicate when it's exactly in the middle. For a notch. And it's a, um, it's a blend control so all the way forward and it's this uh, fender humbucker at the front here which and all the way back the other way it's this fender humbucker here um, one is called a wide ranging humbucker <coughs> and the other is called an enforcer so obviously one sounds is sounds like a hockey team position isn't it what the wide ranging force I'm enforcer. a wide ranger and I'm an enforcer yeah, yeah. it could be or like Wayne Gretzky or something I get you who he knew a name for hockey player yeah and everybody in the world knows who Wayne Gretzky is except for isn't he from the United States of Canada United States <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> the Canadians are going to hate you for that. And I'm going to leave it in the video just so they can troll him. Troll him. So one is a, the, the front one is the, the more, um, I was expansive It's, jazzy. it's kind the clean, jazzy, yeah. expansive sound. And the one at the that back is more for your doom black just metal. Just dirt. Uh, um, it's fair to say, again, another stellar setup from Pablo Jones, the on-site Chapman Guitars tech. Pablo! He's waving, but you can't see yeah. him. What else we got? We got like the real kind of um, 70s bullet style truss rod adjustment up here. Um, it's a kind of a mint green sort of parchment colored scratch plate to give it an Ooh. age sort of look. Uh, comes in a couple of different colors. Again, go to the Anderson's website, look for 72 porn shop. And that's porn, not how you guys probably traditionally would spell porn. Not spelled the man way, as no. Stick says. This is porn like as in a porn shop, P-A-W-N medium frets and uh, sort of a C-shaped profile. It's got a, a C-shaped, modern c profile neck, yeah. so it's Lacquered quite easy. on the back, so again, very vintage yeah. vibe. Japanese made, and it plays yeah. incredibly well. We've got the yeah. same amp setup that we had for our last demo, so we've got an AB box, and we're gonna switch between the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe version three, uh, and the Blackstar HT60. And we've got Jack Daniels versus Cobra. We've got um, Fender versus Blackstar. Mm. And stay tuned, by the way, stay tuned to this video because once we finish doing the pawn shop, uh, sorry, the 72 pawn shop thingy, we're going to do the pawn shop Mustang as well. So stay tuned for that. Mustang. Or maybe look for a different video that we've done that in. I don't Mus. Know. Wait for it. Tang. Tang. Salé. <laughs> so here's the neck pickup. We're going through the, uh, the fender here. If I bring it back, hear it opening up and trebling. Now it's 
both. Well, that's what you can't do on a switch, isn't it? You know, switch can't is do one or switch. other, yeah. or, or both sort of equal proportions. This is anything you want, any anything, kind of blend. Any blend. Any blend, like a really nice... Would it um, blend? Here's the, uh, here's the mix of the two pickups. It's a 25.5 scale length on this Fender Pawn Shop guitar. Yep, so regular, anybody who's got a Strat or a Telecaster is going to feel pretty much right at home with this. Vintage style little plate here, I like that. Oh yeah, the three bolt plate. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the micro tilt here. The micro so tilt. you can adjust the actual angle of the neck like Dangle. that with the Allen key. Yes. Mm. And uh, here's how it sounds on a, a balanced mix. I think we should go through both amplifiers for this. I've got a really good feeling about that. Strung through the body, this isn't yep, it. Yep, so, yep. are you finding it's kind of a bit Toppier. fatter? And <laughs> it's a bit like me, fat and chunky. But it's also <laughs> got that kind of nice top end, a bit like me. See, because I just chopped my hair off. Because you've got this um, blend uh, knob, uh, I just discovered that you can do something quite cool. You can actually use it while you're playing. Start on the fat sound and, and bring it's like it in. Thing, it's a bit it? like a wah. The amps up. That's awesome sounding. Uh, should we go back to traditional gain AB it. mode or do you just want both, both of them? Together? Both of them gain it. Alright then.
it's weird just saying, I think this is, uh, I mean, uh, the guitar sounding great, but what we're really getting off on here is that the... We discovered a, we've discovered a bit of a secret here. It's insane, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. The, the Black Star, what Black Star is this? It's the Soloist. HT60. The HT60 and the it's Fender the Hot, Rod Deluxe 3. Hot Rod Deluxe 3, for some reason... They're just like a marriage made in heaven. They are like right? a marriage made in heaven if you put them together at the same time. Even you know the clean be... sounds layered sound amazing, but the yeah. drive sound sounds killer. Yeah, it's just, just perfect. <laughs> You know what we should do, mate? I wish you guys were here now because I don't know how this is going to come out on YouTube. <coughs> we should, we should now go and get a stereo delay pedal. We'll do that. Um, what was I going to say? We're like little kids, aren't we, mate? Yes. We're going to just, well, I'm just going to play some stupid improvised lead guitar using this incredible setup that I think you should just go and buy everything of because it sounds amazing. <laughs> Just that what I, when you hear a killer British sounding amplifier on a drive sound, yeah, and it just it doesn't have the bottom end on it, so you just, you know it's killer killer in a band situation, but when you're just on your own, there yeah. just isn't quite the bass. <clears throat> end. The, fen the fender's bringing in that bass end, yeah, it so is. The, the, the black star's giving you that kind of just like ah oh, singing kind of lead sound, but the fender's just giving in this lovely it's filling bottom it in. end, yeah, it's filling it, it in. sounds lush, yeah. <laughs> This amazing guitar cost. Uh, this is a fine example of just the amazing value you get when you buy a guitar from uh, Japan. Uh, this is about six hundred pounds. Comes with a deluxe gig bag, um, and that's it. So amazing! I, love uh, it. I am amazed at this guitar, and um, I think we should name this setup. Yeah. The. Maybe you should sell it as a package. I could sell it as a package. Sell it as a package! I'll sell it as a package! How much would the package be? With the pedal, about £1,400. That's not including the guitar. It's an ABY pedal and the two amplifiers. And yeah. that, uh, that is rocking. And you know, the other benefit, of course, of going out with two amps, if one blows up, which, you know, is the worst nightmare for any guitar player, you've got a spare. You've still got a spare. Yes. With you. Can't stop playing that riffly! <laughs> <laughs> Bye!
You know it's a good sound when Rob won't give me the guitar back, yeah, so... Uh, right, let's go! This one comes with a free pick now. Let's do the Mustang demo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we thought we'd do um, another jam since the last jam, which at the time we thought was alright, seemed to go down really well. Um, thank you for your kind comments and yes. words about especially, Lee. Especially from me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another awesome backing track here from guitarplayback.com. David Ballerman, thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Yeah, these, and, are, these uh, are about the best backing tracks I think I've ever heard, so great job there from David. Go and check his website go out. Go buy them, and then mm. buy these Fender guitars, yes. and then buy us chocolate. Yes. And Cobra beer. <laughs>